Hiya guys and welcome to another video. Now today do I have some exciting news guys. So a week ago I got some axolotl legs and we've put them in the 12 litre tank and they've hatched. So this was me a week ago, just for the guys who haven't watched that video, this is just a recap. Right, as a little extra, we did actually buy some axolotl eggs on eBay. Now I've got no clue of what the parents are going to look like or what these guys look like when they're hatched, if we do get there. I've never done this before, so this is a little experiment on my part. We have 10 axolotl eggs and they're absolutely beautiful. So what I've done is just a bare bottom tank, because that's ideally you don't want to be keeping these guys with gravel from what I read online. Uh, we're going to pull these guys in here and then see what happens. So when they hatch we'll put an air stone in there, but for now we're just going to see how they go in this tank. And there, there they go. So I'll up update you guys on their progress and uh, hopefully we'll get some little baby axolotls out of it. So let's get into it guys, it's very exciting. Like I said, they've just hatched, I've just walked past and today this seems to be the day where they've all hatched. Uh, so I got 10 eggs uh, and out of them 10 eggs, we got eight that hatched. So let's have a look at these guys. So they're very, very tiny. They've literally just hatched. Absolutely beautiful, look at that guy. Beautiful. So at this stage, guys, uh, it doesn't really matter what tank size you have them in, because this is just a hatchery. But as these guys grow up, you want to want to keep them in a, at least a, a, a 20 gallon tank. Uh, but the temperature being 60 to 70 Fahrenheit, or 15 degrees to 23 degrees thereabouts pH between 6.5 and 8 and we have got some brine shrimp on the go here that I've just harvested from my Ziz I've had this go already because I knew this it was only a matter of time so I'm literally just going to use the pipette and get some of these good orange gold right here get these guys some brine shrimp Oh, so they might, they might not feed straight away because like I said they've only just hatched but the food's in there and this is a natural source of protein to get these guys going so I'm going to try and get you guys an underwater look so let's have a look at these guys underwater Right, so I also want to add guys, I've added a sponge filter in there just to help with the you know, beneficial bacteria and uh, help with filtration of the tank, also got to make sure the, uh, the water's circulating as well. Uh, I've gone with the upwards uh, sponge filter because like I said, axolotls don't really like water flow. So I've done, I've done this because they get very stressed out if you've got loads of waterfall going on him. So this going upwards, these guys have got plenty of room to uh, dot about down at the floor. These guys are just gobbling all that baby branch, <laughs> branch shrimp up, bless him. Uh, like I say, we've got eight out of 10, which is a really good batch of eggs, to be honest. Um, so these guys are, can live up to 15 years, guys, if maintained properly uh, and well cared for. 
Now, what I will do now on this, because obviously I've got no substrate at the bottom, is, is every other day I may do a little water change, make sure we get all this food off the floor and waste, uh, add some more uh, water in there, and uh, as soon as these guys put on more weight, they're going to get moved into a bigger tank in the shed. And that's going to do it for these guys. And there you have it guys, so a very fantastic day, very nice to see, I was just walking past and I saw that it was hatched, so it's definitely put a smile on my face today. We've also got uh, 55 subscribers now to the channel, so this is definitely growing fast and I also want to keep you guys updated on my axolotl process, so I'm going to do one video a week on the axolotls, so this is the first week. Uh, since I've had them, so I think when I got the eggs, they were already a week developed in the eggs. I think the seller made sure they were uh, developing. So I've had these a week since I last did the video. Uh, so like I say the, the eggs generally take about two weeks to develop for the hatch. So there we go. So thanks for watching, guys. Get subscribed. Feel free to share with your friends and keep on enjoying that hobby, guys, because it's one one hell of a hobby to be in. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.